Good morning, Stephanie Caverman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day. It is Thursday, December 29th. We got a new Dark Pool level on the spy yesterday. Yeah, I didn't realize it was so heavy. Uh, 9.2 million came in at 381.35. So we're going to look at that for swing trading, but for day trading... We're going to be bullish above 379.50 and we're going to be bearish below 377. We also did get a uh, 2.1 million trade yesterday real time. That was really big actually. 378.36. So I used that print for mapping out the bullish above bearish below levels for the day trading, but I want you to use this level more for swing trading. So we'll see if we close above that or not today. Let's go to the IWM. Bullish today above 172 and bear below 170.80. We kind of have an inside day right now. I'm hoping we go outside yesterday's candle, but we'll see. <coughs> Let's go to the QQQ. QQQ, we're going to be bullish above 262.50 and bear below 260.50. Yep, it's inside yesterday's candle. But on the E-minis, we got a new well in town, thanks to Patty B, who's always watching the water. Yeah, 3818, 940 contracts. So we are above that this morning, but we're still below that 3880 well. So today we're going to be bullish above 3830 and bear below 3815. Notice I used the bear below that recent whale. So we'll see if we hold. It does splash quite a bit when we get them in. So patience. NASDAQ futures bullish above 10,875. We're going to be bearish below 10,800 major price level. Let's check out oil. All right, it dipped 3.30, 4 a.m. Yeah, we had a little bit of an oil dip. You can see volume came in near the bottom there. Looks like they bought it up, so bear below it. 76.75 and bullish above 78. 75. Let's check out gold pushing a little bit higher this morning. Well, it was. We pulled back a little bit. Uh, let's see where we're at. We were higher earlier this morning. Yeah, when gold was bottoming, I'm sorry, oil was bottoming, gold was topping. That's interesting, actually. Hmm. Bullish above 1820 today on gold futures, bear below 1800. That's a really big price level. We're going to continue to use it. Let's check out the Bitcoin futures. All right, Bitcoin, what are you doing? Trying to push up this morning. Will it succeed? It's kind of stuck in between this Camarilla. Yeah, and this Camarilla, this pivot. Will it get unstuck? I don't know. We're going to be bullish above 17,000. Bear below 16,300. Okay, let's switch over. To the individual stocks, has Tesla found a bottom? So much volume came in. Sellers exhaustion? Well, I don't know. I went a little bit high today. I wanted it to break above a set of pivots. Hold on a minute. Let me just try to bring them up here. Yeah, I went above 121.50. I don't want to show you why. If you want to scalp in here, you can, but I found this really big pocket right here. So with Tesla, we're going to give it a little bit of room, stop loss, so I definitely want to have a, big, a bigger profit potential. So that's why I went bullish above 121.50, but if you want to scalp in here, yep, be my guest. We are uh, hitting the 4 EMA on the daily chart. So I do like this trade. I just want you to avoid the pivot, the retrace to the 8 EMA. This almost looks like a bullish Harami. We'll see. Yeah. 
Bear below 110 though, all bets are off. Yep, if we go below 110, that is bearish. Let's go to NVIDIA, <coughs> NVDA, let's go. Bullish above 142.50. Are they forming a morning star pattern? Yeah, it could be if this is a green candle today. Bear below 140.50. All right, you guys ready for this next one? AMC. AMC got a very large print last night. I posted it everywhere on Twitter, in the Dark Pool app room, the Advanced Training Pit, the Java Pit. It was a form T, sneaky after the bell, 10 million print. It's a late print. They could have formed it any time during the day. They just decided not to post it during the day. They didn't want us to see it. They thought it would get lost with the market on closed prints and we never have anything close to 10 million on a market on close for AMC, which tells me they're trying to hide it. So keep your eye on this. Normally I don't put under $5 stocks on my whisper, but I made an exception today. So bullish above 406, bear below 350. I do expect it to splash quite a bit. You know, let's wait for the swing trade a couple days and see where it's at. Let's check out uh, Apple. Bullish above 128 today, bear below 126.50. Amazon making the list this morning. We're going to be bullish above 83 today. Bear below 81.97. Silver. <clears throat> Silver looking interesting today. We are at a very interesting spot on the weekly chart. Oh, let me just zoom in again. <laughs> Went a little bit too far. Let me zoom in here. Okay, so we are at this upper trend line <clears throat> at this weekly chart. So it's got to make a decision very soon. It can't just hang out here forever. So, you know, this is more of a swing trade. It might move today, but if we close above that, there's a beautiful upside trade. If not, we're probably going to retrace. So bullish above... <clears throat> bullish above 22.12 and bear below 21.20. Let's check out Google. Bullish above <clears throat> 87.50 and bear below 84.50. And next is Microsoft. Bullish above 236.50 and bear below 234. There you have it. Those are your whispers for December 29th. Until next time, happy trading, everybody.